What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video. And today, man, we have Sudden Series. Uh, we have none other than Joyner Lucas, um, and the track's name is Devil's Work. Um, this track seems like it's gonna be one of those. Like, um, and I've said this in regards to Joyner Lucas before, that he has a way of putting you in the position of someone else and telling that story so that you clearly understand uh, the, the point of view and what he's trying to get across. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be one of those, man. Um, I haven't seen him put out a track like this and this already hit World Star um, and various other sites, man. So hopefully this is fire, man. Um, for me, Joyner never lets me down. Um, he always comes with the bangers. Definitely witty. Uh, with his bars he knows how to play with the words he knows his metaphors he can go fast slow he can mix it up we already know that but is this track dope that's what we don't know um hopefully it is but of course we won't know until the end of the video if it is or if it isn't um now if this is your first time tuning into the channel please wait to the end of the video that's typically when i do my reaction and without further ado let's get into this video Staring at this Bible as I keep glancing Dear Lord, I got questions and I need answers I'm Trying to understand your vision, all I see is damage Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping A bunch of lost souls on their feet standing We supposed to be your children, I thought we family You supposed to be my father, bro, I need answers We don't need to die young, we just need chances Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing We just want me number one like Steve Francis Bow our heads, say a prayer, now the seas planted Everywhere I turn, I'm seeing MCs vanish A lot of good niggas gone, I don't understand it A lot of families lost and they see stranded I ain't trying to disrespect you, I just need answers I know you watching us from heaven thinking who to save Cherry picking who should go next and who should stay I'd be on my way to heaven if I knew the way And bring back every good nigga you choose to take They say you never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes Cause you taking the wrong niggas, maybe you should trade Trade us back all the real ones, remove the fakes I think you should trade Give us two pop back and take that nigga shook Let the legend resurrect that he gon' live for good I be screaming thug life in every different hood If only you can bring him back, Lord, I wish you would Give us Biggie, give us Pun, give us Triple X Take that nigga Trump with you, that's a bigger threat There's too much power for a coward with no intellect That's a bigger with a collar, there's a disconnect Niggas dying, mama crying, grandma need a tissue Niggas shooting up a church, now I need a pistol All them niggas still living, you don't see the issue But how you take some leader, then you take a leader with you I ain't trying to disrespect, just need a meter with you I ain't trying to overstep, just want a reason with you Give us back our love, wasn't take the evil with you Send them suckers straight to hell, they don't need a vision I need you to give us back Martin Luther Take Martin Screlly, give us back Malcolm Take R. Kelly R.I.P. Lil Snoop, get that boy's life back Take Eric Holder, give us Eric right back I'm sending you this message, Lord, I hope you hit me right back They say I'm on the wrong train, I know I'm on the right track Cause Trayvon gone and all he did was try and fight back Zimmerman walk around free, we don't like that Why you take our mothers from us? Fathers and our sisters and our cousins from us Got these children getting murdered while they double dutching Wonder why the fuck you take Nipsey Hussle from us Damn, you took a true king, a true brother from us This a fucking marathon, but they running from us Now everybody got guns, niggas up to something And every gangster wanna prove that they tough or something You know it's not fair, tell the truth I've been in my feelings too But if you took Emmett Tell, at least take Dylan Roof At least take James Holmes I ain't even mad at that Just bring back Whitney And give us Michael Jackson back Feds want me And then slam it down Ain't no justice for Sandra Bland, we up like a Salem fan Lord, if you listen, I'm just looking for a hand in hand Take out the fuck niggas and give us back our fam again Drowning in my tears, trying to pray for something Wonder why you give us life for you to take it from us Wonder why you give us family then erase it from us Maybe hopefully you can have a conversation with us Maybe I'm just probably tripping cause I need a hug The hood can't find jobs, now we need a plug Everybody and their mama trying to be a thug I don't go to church cause I'm afraid of being judged I've been staring at the ceiling as I lie in bed Watching niggas follow trends like Simon says I pray you give us back the real ones and try again Or maybe take them niggas that deserve to die instead 
Tommy Lauren run a mouth and then she get defensive. Lauren Ingram laughing at death and disrespecting. I really feel like you should teach them stupid hoes a lesson. Either that or give us back somebody who deserved the blessings. I left out a bunch of names that I forgot to mention. Cost too much to pay attention and it got expensive. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. And now I'm reaching out to you, hoping you hear me and return the message. I know that you got our back and that you're not against us. Or maybe you just love it, so you doing shit to test us. I just kind of thought that you would do more to protect us. They say the good die young and I ain't on the guest list. I've been drinking, Lord, forgive me as my blood racing. I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just frustrated. I don't mean to question you, I'm just confused. I don't know what else to do. I've been patient and it sucks waiting. Took my mans from me, that forever hurts. But putting the blame on you, that it never work. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. here um so yeah man let's get into this jorna lucas jorna lucas what did i say Luker. jorna lucas devil's work man this track was fire bro this was definitely fire man it was, it was definitely on the level um and i'm gonna do something different man normally i don't go this deep or delve this deep into uh the reactions i just kind of skim the surface point out a, point, uh, a couple cues and we keep it moving but man, like, the message behind this track is so powerful, right? Um, now, for those that may be watching this, bro, like, this is the mantra in, like, the black community. Um, things that we experience, things that we go through, religion is, like, heavy um, in black communities. That's kind of like the backbone. Um, and I love the way that he portrayed this track and him actually being inside of a church that is completely empty. It is literally just him and his thoughts. Um, in this particular scenario, he's having a conversation, a one-on-one -on -one with God, and he's just pouring out his heart. Now, why this is crazy is because in most homes, I, I don't know um, the person that's watching this, what your background is, but this conversation, having this type of feedback, having this type of uh, clap back in regards to God or a deity is a no-no. You, Whatever happens, you accept it, you pray about it, and you move on, but you don't have these type of conversations. Um, so this is kind of revolutionary in the fact that uh, he's, he's presenting us with a vantage point to where he's actually addressing the deity head on and saying, hey, this is how I feel about what is happening. Um, and he addresses a lot of situations. He brings up a lot of people that, you know, if you're in your feelings, this is exactly how you feel. A lot of people that have done progressively good things in this community that have gone, they're, they're gone, um, won't come back. That's the end of the story. Um, but they were revolutionary and moving us forward and doing things that help to uh, galvanize our you know our success so um him having this conversation and saying yo like look give us this person like one of the bars that i love is he said i i don't i don't know the road to heaven if i did and i found my way i would bring back all of the real ones Damn! <laughs> like it's 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 that deep man like you would love to bring back those that have impacted lives, those that have changed the total dynamic in your community. And this isn't just, you know, in this regard, he's speaking more so to the black community, but every community has their, um, you know, the, those people that lead the march in their community, those people that are revolutionaries in their community. Um, and he's speaking to the fact that there's a lot of people that have been martyrs um, in the black community, man. And there's a lot of people that we would love to get rid of and switch them for what we would consider good. Um, so it puts you in that vantage point, man, of just kind of seeing through his eyes and um, kind of giving you a bird's eye view in regards to the black community and how, you know, we experience stuff, how we look at things, how we see stuff, bro. Um, it's tough out there. And I mean, to say otherwise would be a lie. It is tough out there. Um, and he's just speaking from his heart in this this track man 
Um, I love that line that he used in regards to Missy Hustle. He said, we're just running a marathon as a salute and a nod to the marathon track by Nipsey Hustle. Bitch, that was heat! Like, this, this track, bar for bar, was definitely dope. Um, and it was one of those things, man. Um, uh, and I think there are, there are various different ones that talk about it. In the black community, you don't really deal with grief. You don't really deal with the issues. And this is just one way of dealing with those pain, with that pain, with that grief, through wax. Putting it out on, on a track and just really just relaying the message. And this is kind of the reason why I said a, a, co a collaboration between Jordan Lucas and Tom McDonald would be crazy because both of these characters, both of these, and I call them characters because they're in entertainment, but both of these people have a vantage point to actually put you in the perspective of the other person and actually make you see from the, from the eyes of another person. And that's exactly uh, what we saw in this track, man. It was fire. It was fire. It was dope, man. Um, definitely salute to Joanna Lucas, man, for doing something like this, that something that would be heavily scrutinized, that people would, you know, could be backlash over, um, you know, even putting in, in the fact that, you know, um, pointing out some of the biggest hypocrites that we have today, those that tell you one thing, but do something different, um, and just really bringing it to light, like, yo, he could have, he, he could have went all types of other ways but he went straight for the jugular and i love his honesty and his realness and his authenticity and just putting across music that speaks from the heart that's this is this is like him speaking from his soul um and we got a bird's eye view of what it's like to think perceive and see through the eyes of Joyner Lucas. It was dope, man. Um, so definitely salute to Joyner on this track, man. Definitely was heat, definitely was fire. And there were so many bars in this track. I pointed out two. You guys can go back and watch the track. Um, there were so many more. I mean, just the message alone was powerful. And that um, regardless of, of our situation and what we find ourselves in, we have to understand who's playing whom. And um, no matter how, how we would love to bring people back and switch them out for others, that's not the world we live in and that's not how this thing works. Um, we have to play the cards that are dealt with us. We have to deal with the struggles and the situations that we are faced with head on. Um, and we have to groom those that are around us to be those leaders that we want them to be. Like it was one of those hey, let's wake up type of mantras. So definitely salute to Jorna, man. I love the track. Thought it was definitely dope. Definitely uh, speaking from the heart, bro. And it was fire for me. Um, but yeah, you guys have to let me know what you thought about the track. Definitely was fire for me. Definitely was dope for me. And we're gonna keep this moving, man. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady. <laughs>